is cool. I'm not here to show you how cool I am. I'm here to show you guys how cool you are. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris Hansen from Karate Unity. If you are new to this channel, our content focuses on cross-training in other arts and combat sports and tactical combatives to make your base art better. And in my case, it's karate. I got a really special guest that I've been following for a long time, since the beginning of time till now. He's blown up on YouTube, 75 plus K subscribers. You could find him on uh, 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 Urban Combatives Netherlands, on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. The one and only... I got to get your name right. Mikkel, is that how you say it? Right. Good enough. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Mikkel Mulder from Urban Combatives. Welcome, brother. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. Yeah, man. Great so intro. <laughs> 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 but uh, now, man, it's so so glad that, that you're here. For those, of, for those of you guys out there who don't know who you are, if you could quickly introduce yourself and where to find you online. I'm an international competitors instructor, and my goal is to build people through competitors training and... Uh, my uh, website is, like you said, Urban Better Netherlands or schoolofcellprotection.com. So what I do there is just um, reaching the people, try to sell some online courses so I can teach the people that uh, I cannot reach in my uh, my um, uh, physical training. So it's um, going well, the seminar is going well, and uh, I'm happy with the YouTube platform because now it's growing. I can um, reach more people, and that's that's the whole goal about it, you know, to make people good students of cell protection. Absolutely. And uh, you're doing that quite well, man. The The growth has been rapid. I think I think last year you were much below 75 and the year before that you were lower too. So it's just it's just exploding. I, I love your content. That's what led me to you. And that's the beauty of this social media landscape now is we're, we have access to such amazing tools that yes. and, and algorithms that, you know, spread stuff out. And uh, it's just great for for martial arts and uh, instruction now. So I, I got what led me to you was your content, more particularly the connections that I see biomechanically to various martial arts. And so, yeah, so now we're here, you know, and so I, I look at, I look at, uh, I'm starting to, before I was just looking at things from a karate lens, but now I'm looking at just movement and how you can use it to get healthy and protect yourself. Right. So, and you're, you're, I'm going to tell you right now, I mean, I'm fanboying here, <laughs> but, but, but uh, you are a leader, man. Like um, you're like, I, I see other people's reactions to your content too. And uh, there's no, I mean, you're going to get haters out there. Uh, I'm sure you've yeah, seen yeah. all that too. Right. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I mean, Hey, listen, you, you live the part, you talk the talk, you walk the walk, uh, you're in great shape and you you're knowledgeable, you know, your stuff. Um, I, I can't wait to 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 have this uh, conversation unfold unfold because I want to pick your brain, man, because it's inspired wow. my curriculum. Um, wow. I, I I think I've spoken to you uh, briefly. I, I I when I've when I've flown out to say for example, uh, when I went to UK and Germany last year, I used a lot of your content to kind of make it real. So some of the yeah. pad work uh, that you use, like the the blitzing pad work and stuff, I I borrowed and I of course I gave you credit when I was there. Um, uh, that, that's always a thing. If you give credits, then it's all good. Thanks for that. Yeah, 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 yeah no, for sure. And no I problem. said, and, and and those guys in UK, for example, they know who you are. In particular, they know Lee Morrison. And I'd love to talk about Lee as well. Uh, he, he's a beast, <laughs> you yeah, know. Yeah. But um, yeah, man. So I, uh, I'd i like to start by uh, just talking about your social media first, if you don't mind. Like, um, who does your editing, man? It's sick. <laughs> I mean, you have to understand that I have... I have uh... A passion and the passion is the same as yours teaching people and i do it yeah. through competitive so i i try to breed it i I'm, I'm i'm obsessed about it so the editing part that's all me i'm wow um, I, I i did my own platform and do the own website i don't know how i do it but uh it's literally what lee says sometimes i think because he says about himself that something in me does this because i have no idea because you have to understand before lockdown i didn't have a laptop Right. And now I'm doing it all myself. So um, it it's, it's almost goes automatically. It's a lot of work and I could push harder in my book, but maybe I should work smarter because uh, I'm postponing a lot of uh, filming. I have a busy life at the moment with teaching, but I'm, I'm really trying to produce as much as I can. But I'm perfectionist also, you know what I mean? So the courses, if, money pay, if, if people pay money, I want to have it very good. So that's why I was studying how to edit and all that stuff and so the youtube is just 
hoping to draw in some people that are interested and serious with this kind of training. And then I cannot give them shit quality. I cannot give them bad sound. And I mean, I just try to do it because I understand what combatives is. It's every principle or concept or skill set or tactic that works on the real fight stress. So if you see stuff coming back in your martial arts, it's literally because from every art, if you like, we take that one that is gross motor and that works under the fight stress, like pain, fatigue, uh, dissertation, confusion, rage. So a lot of complex motor skill will disappear, but um, the gross motor skill, they stay. So it's all said and done if 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 you do a step back. And then some people will always, if I, for example, show a cover, they say, yeah, you stole this from from this principle or that principle. I'm like, no, it's all said and done already. It's out there. The fact yeah. that I try to simplify it and also show the people in my editing and et cetera, is that I'm going to keep it simple so you can comprehend and understand and train. And that is the difference that my urban combatives is now my urban combatives. So it's the same principles that like Lee taught me, the urban combatives, but it's now evolving into what I teach. Same principles, but my urban competitors. And that's actually what Lee told us to do. You know, so the editing part belongs with that. The marketing part belongs to that. Because if I use, for example, the hashtag self-defense on Instagram, that's pure marketing because self-defense, pure applied self-defense is different, right? I mean, if I need to teach a vulnerable girl that is um, abused by her uh, abusive uncle, I cannot teach that girl to blitz through you. Makes sense? Correct. But I can reach that girl uh, in my class and then build on her confidence through combative training. So, for example, uh, Richard Dimitri is very good in that. Yes, yes. I trained I trained with him when he was here. That's That was my first exposure to RBSD, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah he's, he's brilliant, but uh, he should stop bashing combative training. It, it irritates me because... Yes. Uh, I, I reached out to him also a uh, long time before he did this. I said, listen, I understand what you're doing. You teach pure self-defense. And I totally respect him. I totally respect what he's doing. But then never post he makes fun of, yeah, this is not your average big tattoo guy that hitting five hours uh, yes, seven that's, hour on the that's right. It will, it will not give you any. I and mean, why are you doing this? Because you have no idea how many students I have that came in as soft targets and after a couple of years, they asked me, I'm like, since I trained with you, I never have a problem anymore. They became harder targets. They now understand how hard they, uh, how hard they can hit, how they can move. They understand de-escalation. And another guy reached out to me that reached to me to was bashing my online course. Well, he doesn't know the uh, the content because he said, it, does he teach de-escalation? Blah, blah. Yes, I absolutely teach de-escalation. It's one of the biggest thing I teach. I teach verbal judo. I teach... Um, to avoid it, number one, but in the situations, because what he says that the majority of people, you can de-escalate. He's absolutely right in that. I teach the people that. Combatives is designed for that sociopath that cannot be de-escalated. But he should stop doing that dragging or pissing on the combatives training because I'm not selling it as self-defense for your uh, elderly person, for example. There are parts of that that the person can use as long as the awareness and the situation of control and, 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 and all the Peter II recognition... And the mindset is in play, yeah. So yeah, yeah. I I, sh I I I respect him. He does a great job, but yeah, the same for me could be yeah. If you think that you can only talk about it and then that solves the problem, is also not realistic for my part, you know. So hitting five hour pads, for example, it does something with people if you put it in the right context, if you explain right. them. And so let's keep uh, the respect high is what I would say, you know, because I think it will fit in fine with each other. But he has a point. I mean, if you sell combatives as pure self-defense, yeah, now you're talking bullshit. It's learning how to fight. And also nowadays what I see, because he says that the majority of people that got attacked are by somebody that they know. That that number is changing. That yeah. number is changing. Because I'm yeah. also doing uh, full-time security next to this because I have two jobs. And uh, I do uh, security for some kind of private school in the difficult neighborhood in Amsterdam. So I have a lot of, yeah. a lot of uh, shit going on there. And the amount of times they got almost attacked or attacked by people they'd never met before. Yeah. At the moment. Yeah. No, it's, it's no joke. No, you, you're right about that. Because uh, like I, I was telling you offline, I uh, some of my privates here are police officers. And one of them uh, works for a youth division uh, that deals with social media crime. And uh, a, a lot of uh, a, a lot of these crimes are targeted at high school, for example. And these are people that 
uh, the crimes are happening from people that they don't know through social media. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. It, it, I think part part of that climate is changing now because of social media. You yes. know. Okay. Uh, and, 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 and,